What is going on everybody? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness. And welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In this series, I take my TikToks and YouTube shorts and make them longer. Today's episode is going to be about how you don't need a confession from a narcissist if you have irrefutable evidence. Like and subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. This right here is an example that if you have physical proof that a narcissist has cheated on you, has lied to you, has stolen money from you or whatever, you don't need to present it to them. You don't need a confession from a narcissistic person because when you try to get a confession from a narcissist, you will end up in situations just like she described. Like, I have physical proof. They made up a story that reached for the sky. Sound like Toy Story. Like, reach for the the sky and it happens a lot when you pre when you have irrefutable evidence like screenshots video recordings whatever you need to prove that narcissistic person wrong you don't need to present it to them because if you present it to them you're just giving them the opportunity to lie to you to to lie to you to rage out on you to blame you for finding out everything was good till you find that i was cheating on you if you wouldn't have started prying we would have been good scooby-doo i would have got away with it if you wouldn't have went through my phone because this person said they caught them multiple times, multiple times, multiple lies and multiple, multiple not doing anything about it. So why do they need to confess or anything if you're going to forgive them anyway? Boo. Welcome back. Surprise, y'all. I'm going to say it again in clear, concise English for you. If you have proof that a narcissist has cheated on you, has done, has lied to you, has stolen money from you, has done something that's unforgivable. You don't need to. You don't need a confession from that person. People are like people, and people in my comment section are going off like, "You do need a confession. Why don't you want a confession? Because a confession will give them trying to get a damn confession will give them the opportunity to gaslight you to the to the, the, the to, to the damn high heavens. Like, hey, I got these screenshots and all this evidence of you cheating. I got a video recording of the cheeks getting clapped. I can I can hear the cheeks." Just yo, it sound like it sound like somebody was giving y'all a rave review at a at a, a Broadway play, standing ovation. It sound like that. So I need you to explain why do you need y'all? Why do you need them to explain that? If you're not because this is what happens in a narcissist mind. If you present this to me and you're giving me the opportunity opportunity to to tell my side of the story, I'm going to lie to you. I'm not going to admit it because guess what? Just, just the simple fact that you are giving me this opportunity lets me know that you're not going to leave. You're already not going to leave. Because you presented the evidence to me, I already know that you are not going to leave. I already know. In my, in my mind, I already know you're not going to leave. So what's the point of me confessing? Huh? Why do I need you to confess if you're not going to leave? Huh? If you're not going to change anything, if you don't have any leverage to hold me accountable, if you're not going to disappear on me and ghost me and not explain, you know, why do you need? Why, why do I need to confess? Literally, why? And what makes you think I'm going to confess to you? For what? To make you feel better about yourself? To make you so I admit it to it? Cops prosecute people all the time without confessions, but so you're better than the cops, right? The cops take that circumstantial evidence. Sometimes they plan it. Um, cops take that circumstantial evidence, that, that irrefutable evidence. Hey, sir, we got you on camera. It'll be easy if you confess. Like, look, we have your plea bargain. Look, you're gonna get four you the plea bargain for forty years, but like look, the plea bargain for twenty years, but look, you take this to trial. If you don't confess, we're gonna you're gonna get convicted and you'll get ten extra years. I'm not confessing. Okay, cool. The judge a few few months later, guilty. Ten extra years. They're not gonna confess. Why? Why do they need to confess? Why do you need a confession? For your own foreclosure? For closure, so if you if you already are not going to leave this person, if you made your mind up that you're going to stay regardless, why do you need a confession again? I ask again. I need to know why do you need a confession. I know it sounds narcissistic. You sound very narcissistic today. Of course, I'm a narcissist. I told. I keep telling y'all this repeatedly. For some reason y'all don't believe me. You're a real narcissist. I get it. Trust me. But literally, the mind works weird, y'all. Like. I know it's simple. When I say it, it sounds like it's supposed to be a simple task to complete. You don't need a confession, just move on, right? I understand that it's a difficult thing. I do. But my, this is where I kick in at because I don't, I got evidence. Fuck you. That's where I go. If I get some evidence of you doing some shit to me, it's fuck you immediately. Nope. I don't even present it to you. If I present it to you, it's just to let you know I know. I'm not, I don't need a confession. I don't need the evidence. I've already made my mind and I'm leaving your ass. So I'm just like, I'm presenting the evidence just to let you know that I know. 
hey, I know this, I know you cheated on me, here's the proof, here's the evidence, I'm not trying to argue, bam, 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 finger pistols, I'm out. Just need to let you know, I want you to stew on it. But you want to, you know, what, 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 you know, people, so many people want to harm the narcissist's mind, or want, you want vengeance. Vengeance is not giving them, the vengeance on a narcissist is taking the evidence, is not taking the this is not vengeance. You think, you might think it's vengeance, it might feel like it's, you know, you might feel like you get vengeance for this, like, here's your manila envelope, I found this file of you cheating on me, here you go, go through that, I'm leaving. That's cool, but you know what else is, what's cooler, what's crueler, what's crueler, I like crueler, um, you're just ghosting them. Don't tell them why. Let them think. Let them stew on it. Let them go crazy trying to figure it out. Of course, use discretion because some of these people are fucking out of their brains. They'll go crazy. Of course, use discretion. I'm just telling you what could make them go crazier. What would make me go crazy? I'm telling you what would affect me most. I came home. My wife was gone. She didn't tell me why. I'm going crazy. I know what I've, I know what I've done. Like, did she find it out? Damn. There's no way she didn't find it out. Hey, why you leave? Why you let talk to me? Hey, please, please talk to me. That's the mindset right there. Do I say I want y'all to wake up and understand that the easiest the, you, you, you can go? I know, and I say I know everybody's like when you get this evidence, you get this proof. Just act on it. Whatever acting on it looks like for you, that's what I mean. Sometimes you have the ability to leave somebody. You got your finances in order. You got stuff straight. You can. You have the ability to leave that person. Good for you. Some people, you can't leave. Heather Coleman Voss, who I'm going to have on here pretty soon, took her 18 months to leave. She made an 18-month plan, but during that 18 months, she emotionally detached from this person. She broke the trauma bond, but she was still living with this person. And she, like, when she was gone, she was gone. She, the dude came home, she was gone. All her stuff was, all the stuff was gone. Can you tell she lived there? <laughs> she sk skedaddled. Can you tell she lived there? You know what I mean? But that's how it goes right there, y'all. I'm telling y'all, wake up. Wake up, because you, if you go, go you go to sleep, because if you take this proof and you present it to the narcissist, hey, here's these screenshots, you want to explain these screenshots, what? If you want an explanation a lot of times, in my mind, it just means you want you looking for a reason to stay. I don't want to believe that this is you, even though this your tattoo, and this your back, and this your hair, and this your face, and those are your moans. I know your moans anywhere. I know your moans of a good cheek clapping. I know them. <laughs> I know them, but that's why I say I want y'all to win. It sounds, it sound. I know it sounds absurd sometimes, like the narcissists out here helping people. But I do want you to win. It makes me feel better when y'all win. When y'all lose, when you give up and you go back, you take your kids back into toxic situations. I get angry as hell at some of y'all. I promise to God I do. I'm like y'all just. Uh, mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But like I said, I do want y'all to win, though. So if you have this proof, make a plan. Now, so you have, if you find this proof and you want to leave, but you can't leave immediately, this is not, now this is your plan. Now, now it's time to start planning. Hunter Coleman Voss, 18 months in the, in, the, in action. No, 18 months like that. 18 months is a long time. I might as well just stay in. 18 months versus the rest of your life. 18 months versus the rest of your life. Let's say you live to be 50 years old. That's what? 18 months, 50 times, what, 12 is, what, 600? 50 times 12. Yeah, 600. So 600 months, let's say, that's a 50-year-old. Let's say 75 years old, so 75 times 12, 900 months versus 18 months. So you like, oh, 18 months is a long time. Versus 900? Which one carries more weight? 18 months of planning to leave a toxic relationship of taking your power back right here or 900 months of fucking sadness and despair? And regret. Which sounds more powerful right there? Which one do you feel is going to give you more strength? I took me 18 months or 900. You tell me I might, you might live to be 100 years old. What if y'all both live to be 100 years old? Man, imagine being 100 years old with a damn narcissist in a toxic relationship. Yikes. 100? 100. That's 1,200 months versus 18 little months, a year and a half. 18 little months. Versus 1,200. Damn. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, y'all. I know y'all probably, probably looking like, Lee, you're, you sound different. You feel different. My energy is up, y'all. It really is. I've, I've been taking some extra distance. Oh, goodness. I do feel weird right now. But, yeah, I want y'all to win, y'all. 
You, you know, like I said, I want you to win. You don't need a confession. Make a plan. I'm not telling everybody to leave. I know everybody's situation is different, y'all. I'm just telling you. Presented this evidence like, hey, I quit you. Hey, here's the video evidence of you cheating. Why you go through my phone? How you find out? You need to just blindly trust me. I don't care what you think you know. I don't care what you think you know. You need to blindly believe me because I love you. I'm putting a code on my phone now. That's what you want? You got 900, 1200 months of this? Whew. Y'all want that long lasting love too. You got at least 600 months. I want to be married my, my grandparents. Five, you know, 50 years, 600 months versus 18 months. That's Heather Coleman Ball. Shout out to Heather, Heather Coleman Ball. Shout you out. Anyways, y'all, I got a one on one here in two minutes. I got to get hop on here for it. And my wife got to go to the doctor the other day. I got to watch my baby. So I appreciate y'all. I want y'all to win. I really, really do. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Mental Illness is out. Peace, peace, peace.